What do you think, Shelby? Is it bad? Is it bad? Well, you can see that the, the penstock has pulled the barrel out of its hole right there. I was expecting one of these fittings to light loose. That one's just, uh, just PVC, it's a dry fit. And then there's a coupler, a rubber coupler there. I think, fern coat fitting? Yeah. And then what actually failed is this fern coat fitting. So that's easy to fix actually. And I'm glad that it didn't disturb anything there, which I still haven't fixed. And all the water there is draining down here into my filter bucket. And then it's going down into that bucket there. It's, uh, it's kind of odd to be up here in the fall. Like all summer I'm used to the sun being up here. It's one in the afternoon and the sun is behind the trees right there. So it's just odd to be working in the shade. Also, it's kind of cool. It's like 60 degrees, but that's still shorts and t-shirt weather. So, oh, I had a funny thought coming up. Every spring visit day is leg day. <laughs> All right. Um, watch how I fix this, I guess. I guess I should explain what exactly happened. If you've ever heard of water hammer, this was just a severe case of water hammer. When I was at the bottom shutting off the valve too quickly, uh, there's a few instances where I caught it on camera. I'll roll those now so you can see them. And we're back. All of these rocks that I had piled up were to kind of prevent the penstock from running downhill, but every time I shut off the valve too quickly, all of that moving water has to go somewhere. It has a lot of inertia. So it just presses at the bottom of the pipe, the penstock, and it pulls the whole penstock. All, what, 760 feet of it approximately? So now I'm gonna try to prevent that from happening and also never shut the valve off too quickly. All right, I didn't record any of it. The bugs are just crazy and I'm irritated. That's what I've come up with. But that, the uphill fitting there on the left, I'm pretty sure is cross-threaded all to heck. Just because of that, uh, that galvanized fitting there is made in China and the threads on it were not the best. It was hard to get it straight, even without anything on the end. So then I have a piece of galvanized wire rope with two saddle clamps on there. And I know I need to do another pipe clamp there. And I'm gonna go up here to my hand crank thing, which is right there. Okay, I left the drill at home because I had enough stuff to bring up. And this is the thinner diameter rope, which sits further down in the pulley and I can get better torque on it. So this should, pull up all 760 or so feet of pipe, which is empty, there's no water in it. Except, my nuts are loose here and everything's twisting. All right, that's that. Give the ratchet strap another ooga dooga. All right, let's see what that does. It's moving this whole rock. <clears throat> it appears to be working. I'm gonna set you over here. Because that rock's moving a little bit too much for my leg. Yep, 
Not on a Fiat. Everything there looks okay. I added some more ballast to my cranking rock here. Shouldn't move around as much. off and see what that does for us. Okay, that looks good. But I'm gonna pull up a little bit extra pipe just to give us some extra flexibility uh, expansion room, or contraction room for that matter. If you're coming to the show late here, this is a sky winch. I'll have a link in the description for it if you want to buy one. I was digging out a hole to put a stop block in and this is concrete so I think maybe this is like the very first sort of any spring maybe this failed for some reason and then they built a further one up there and maybe in another 60 or 100 years somebody's gonna build another spring further up who knows There's some leaves in here because when the barrel was pulled over, the lid got dislodged in its fall. So I'm gonna purge this, or drain this tank. That's what this is for, to drain it and flush out whatever's in there. Okay, I'm a little bit tired of having to do like flow measurements. So I, this is the end of this video. I have the, the penstock down here on top of the turbine pit, which will be in a, probably the next video. 
and I don't know if this is calibrated but we can see that it's over 120 psi that we're getting out of this so that's awesome like comment subscribe Amazon Patreon PayPal see you around goodbye